Welcome back to the Text Chainsaw Massacre, the game video. Today we are ranking the family members in the game, but we're going from best to worst because we think the best is too obvious. We don't, we don't like, we like these to be suspenseful. Yeah. yeah it's just a build up, build up to who is possibly the best, who is possibly the worst. And since we all know the best is Leatherface, we'll start there. Yeah. I mean, also, it's hard to to rank him because he's has to be in every yeah, match. Yeah. Um, but I mean, he's good. <laughs> yeah. I Leatherface, of course, is the best. He's the fastest character in the game overall. Uh, he does the most damage with the chainsaw, of course. Without him, he'd be nothing. He'd there'd be, be nothing. There'd be no game. There'd be, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's just how it goes. That's why every time they make a new sequel or something to this franchise, they only have Leatherface and forget the fact that it was the family that made the movie so special. Uh, yeah. I mean, who needs friends when you have family? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Leatherface is number one uh, for all the reasons we said. But the thing is, when you rank these family members, this is what I'm noticing, because you're like, OK, well, I think Johnny's the best, but or you think Johnny's whatever it is, but it's who Johnny is playing with that makes Johnny good. So if you have like a Johnny and a cook, you're like, oh, Johnny suddenly is not nearly as good. Right. But if you have a Johnny and a sissy and you have sissy incapa or, you know, poisoning people and then Johnny and his savagery on top of it, then it gets pretty nasty. Or you have Johnny tracking footsteps and sissy pinning him down and him a poison. Able like to you, go through crawl spaces that Johnny can't go through. Right. It's the combos that are so powerful. So you almost got to rank the combos instead. But we're not doing that today. No. Are we? So uh, similar to our victim ranking, we're kind of ranking these based on who I would be the most scared to go against. And for me, the next on the list, and we again, we came to consensus on this. Yep. Uh, we, we we talk out when we're not recording. We also talk about this, believe it or not. It's weird. Yeah. 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 It's, we're actually not one of those people that only make content together. And then we're not uh, old Smosh. We're, new Smosh is fine. But old Smosh, you know, they only make content together. And then they hated each other. Well, like medium Smosh. Medium Smosh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, after i said it i don't know what does that mean <laughs> uh okay number two on the list we have sissy all right sissy scares the shit out of me but also it turns me on uh, yeah yeah a little bit <laughs> uh, her man i keep getting the song stuck in my head which is really just fuck with my mental health like when you go to sleep and you have manson family songs in your head you're like oh my god what is wrong with me dude <laughs> uh but yeah she she doesn't do as much damage, right? Her savagery is a little bit lower. You can buff it with perks and attribute points, but her savagery is not very high. So she does. You got to hit people a lot, but she swings fast. She swings fast and you can buff the shit out of her endurance and stay on the chase and just keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. And then her poison is ridiculous, actually. So I'm not I don't think there's going to be a ton of nerfing and buffing in this game based on what we see balance wise. Right. It's going to be like the, the door slam mechanic might be changed a little bit. Or That's the stun that, time. Yeah. Right. Things like that. But I don't think like the actual attributes and the abilities of victims and family will be changed that much. Right. The only one that I can see being changed a little bit is Sissy. Because the poison, when it's buffed up, it is crazy, dude. I mean, the ability to mark someone on the map for a minute. Yeah, and and they're 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 not able to run as fast. They go crazy slow. Sideways. Gotta, yeah, they, they can't go in a straight line, and they can't sprint as fast, and they're marked. It's just crazy. And then you can, like, you could poison parts. Like, the I actually had a sissy do her job very well, where she poisoned a health bottle that... It, and not only on top of that, if you didn't know this, if a health bottle is poison and you use it, not only do you get the effects of the poison and it marks you on the map, but you don't get healed. The healing doesn't work either. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing that more as sissy, because even if they don't like even if the effect isn't crazy, it they they can't heal. Yeah. So pretty nasty. But then you can also do parts like the fuses on the map. You can poison those. It's just it's really pretty crazy. Yeah. She, and there are uh, perks for other family members that uh, if you walk in her poison, your next melee attack does poison damage. Yeah. Yeah. Or you get um, stamina, stamina regeneration. regeneration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instant 30 percent stamina back. She, she she's pretty nuts. Yeah. She's pretty she's, nuts. She's good. Yeah. And then, like you mentioned, her ability to well, she can hide. She can go into crawl spaces. <laughs>
like you already said with Sissy and her ability to like go through crawl spaces and crouch and, and she can go in hiding spots. So you can't you can't take advantage of that. Yes. She just can constantly stay on you, man. Anyone that can go through crawl spaces, so Sun, or Sissy and Hitchhiker, bro, I hate it. Yeah, and there's you know something eerie, scary about hearing Leatherface's chainsaw and hearing not yelling after you, but singing. Yeah. Yeah. Or or you're hiding and, you know, maybe you don't have the glow yet, but you just hear in the distance her singing. Yeah, it's, it's creepy. And yeah, she sings up on me all the time, too. Like, I'll blink. Like, I'm running from a leather face. And all of a sudden, Sissy sings up on me. And I'm like, what the hell? I haven't explored her skill tree. There must be something that reduces the uh, the, the proximity radius. effect. Yeah. yeah, there has to be. Because, yeah, sometimes, yeah, she's she's real close when she when my. Yeah. Well, there's a great there's also on. the grandpa perk that pulls it back too. That so. too. Yeah. And then she could she gets so much blood, you can really buff her blood harvesting up. And man, she could feed grandpa real quick. I love you, grandpa. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christina Klebe really did a great line delivery there. She Christina Klebe brought that character together. Not only, you know, her mocap and the the movement of Sissy, but her VO is just perfect. And her singing because she's an amazing singer and she had to like dumb it down. She like pull yeah. it back and you can tell she's still good. Uh yeah, it, Sissy ain't tone deaf, I'll tell you that much. True. Because right? it's enough to get in my head. Like it's, She's got the songs in my head. <sighs> Good times. Good times. Which that brings us to number three, and that's The Hitchhiker. Uh, the only, again, I think the main reason is the goddamn crawl spaces and the traps. Dude, there are some hitchhikers that got their traps down and scary. Yeah. But anyone that can go through those crawl spaces, dude, it's you can't just keep running away. If you're going against a Johnny or a Cook or a Leatherface, you just go to a crawl space and you're done with them. And then they got to come all the way around. Then you go through another crawl space and you're done with them. And that's just kind of it. I mean, there's some some places on the slaughterhouse where le- as Leatherface, you, you call out like, I can't get them. They're looping. Yep. There's one where you have to go so far around and they already regen their stamina all the way. That, that's exactly it. It's the, it's the, the stamina regen. It, that kind of goes away when Sissy and Hitchhiker are chasing you. Yep. And you just you can't stop through a crawl space and wait. So you have to be way more generous when it comes to saving your stamina when running away from Sissy and Hitchhiker, or you're just gonna get caught slipping. Yeah. And then you combine. I mean, the teamwork element with them is even, like Sissy can tr- also put her poison in his traps. It's just there's so much deadly. There, yeah, it's a brutal combo. But Hitchhiker and forcing victims to get a bone scrap to take out his traps at certain objectives, things like that. It can be all the difference in the world. We talked about the valve on Slaughterhouse. Without the traps down there, he'd miss it. Yeah, I mean, trapping objectives. Uh, yeah, it just they could they can run up. They've got two unlock tools, a Connie, and they walk up and go, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it's, oh, great. Now we to go get a bone scrap, crap, and or or just, or just take it. it. Yeah, yeah, which happens. And then then it gives us a warning and go over there. Lots of honest tanking them. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, with Hitchhiker as well, you could also do like trap crawl spaces, trap the most used crawl spaces. And it, it you can't avoid it as yeah. a victim. Um, definitely something that I think should be changed is being able to trap the top of the ladder where you climb up the ladder and there's nothing you can do yeah. in it. Yep. Um, you can't disable it. You don't get a chance to disable it or anything. Yeah, you step in no matter what. I think that should be changed. I think the radius should be put back like the valve. You have to put it way far back. They still step in it when they try to put the thing on. God, I thought you were a hitchhiker main, bro. What are you trying to do? Nerf and hitchhiker. What's wrong with you? Also, um, one of his uh, level three abilities, uh, they take one HP of damage for 60 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's nuts. Um, yeah. And that's a difference maker. I mean, even once I finally got that to level three, the amount of times someone would step in my trap and then bleed out. Yeah, it happens. A, yeah, it happens a lot now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to spoil all my secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to keep it suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We already get our ass kicked enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, OK, that brings us to our number four on the list. And I actually kind of feel bad putting him this low because I think he can be insanely clutch. And that's the cook. I'd like to apologize for Sir Jonathan Ivy, who's going to be like, what the fuck, man? But yeah. here's the thing. The the cook, if he's not maxed out, he doesn't scare me at all. No. Going against him anyway. Because, like, yeah, he can spot you, but but unless he's on comms, no one's going to know. No one's going to know. Uh, if they are on comms, even then, it's relying on the cook to relay the message properly on where you're going. Right. And it, they need map knowledge. You need map knowledge. Yeah. And good comms. And so good comms. It, it's tough. Uh, but 
a maxed out cook, a level three cook, and him being able to spotlight you in red without you knowing it to the rest of the family, that's scary. That would be that. Then you like put him higher on the list for sure. Yeah. But if you're kind of looking at these characters at their base levels, it's hard to put the cook higher than where we have him at number four. Yeah, he's got his little waddle. He's slow. Yeah. He doesn't do a lot of damage. Doesn't right. hold a lot of blood. Yeah. Pad, the padlocks, though, are clutch. The padlocks are very nice, especially on the family house. Yeah. Yeah. The, the only thing that, and the reason why I'm like, OK, we're not going to put them higher because the padlocks is that you're padlocking like the generator doors, you're padlocking the battery door and things like that, uh, or the, the gates, the gates themselves, you're padlocking those. If I see that, if I see a cook, I'm just not going for those objectives. And now I'm just going to go do the fuse that you can't padlock. I'm going to go do the valve that you can't do anything about and just hope that that you don't become an issue to me right uh so it's pretty counterable but it, it's like a family side it's so nice to have a cook because you're like all right i don't have to worry about the doors and so me now as a family member i'm like i know you're gonna go for the fuse i know you're gonna go for the valve we can watch those and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but or by the time you do get the padlock off you still have to unlock the actual gate right the cook the cook hears you and has already called you out right yeah so yeah and then you know if you got a hitchhiker that now you have a trap to also get around yeah it's two that. locks and so so yeah there goes your lock picks i mean yes there's perks that uh give a chance of it not breaking right but you carry two lock picks to take care of uh, the padlock and the actual gate while there's a trap on the gen yeah you just you gotta have you, to take it yeah 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 or you you be you'd be very patient and it, you would think somebody would check on the the objective by that point right. and so it wouldn't happen so yeah the, the OG three combo is a is a good one. Yes, we've been rocking that mostly. Yeah, it's a good combo. Ego, grandpa. <laughs> and you hear that a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and that brings us to our number five. And I know he's sexy as fuck and he does a lot of damage. But Johnny, I think and once you get him maxed out, he is better. No doubt about it. But I think he is the weakest of the family. He does a lot of damage. He definitely does, you know, other than Leatherface, that's the most damage out of all the family members. And that's nice. His speed's not bad. I love his walk. It's hot. hot. Yeah. <laughs> and his ability can be very clutch. If you have somebody who's good at hiding in bushes and whatnot, you catch their footprints and you find them easily. But him not being able to go through the crawl spaces, him the only he only has that one ability, right? Like the cook can track and hear noises and be a good tracker and he's got the padlocks johnny can just track he can only track the footprints and obviously that's not nearly as far as the cook the cook can hear you across the map johnny can't track you that i mean he could in theory but he won't (laughs) right johnny can go down ladders though correct yeah yeah yeah. so there's that well so so can the cook but every everyone other than leatherface can right but yeah he he just uh he's not in the chase, you should be able to get away most of the time from Johnny. But if he does catch up to you, he does a lot of damage. And yes, you, you he can put a lot of points in his savagery. So it's not like he's bad. But I think because the, the cook has two different abilities he can use, the padlock and tracking you, I think he just has the upper hand on Johnny. And and also with, with comms, you know, the cook can track someone from across the map. Johnny, what are you going to say? Oh, I found some put- footprints. So they might still be around. Mm-hmm. I'm in this area and now like the family house, you go from room to room with these footprints uh, that could be anywhere. The cook, especially level three, you know exactly where they are. Yeah. Johnny can do. I think his uh, max out ability can also highlight them like that uh, or there's some, some variant of it. But the cook is it's over and over again, bro. He's, he's kind of get on you. I'll tell you, though, the one thing that I do feel bad about having Johnny so low is that Damien Maffei's VO on him is so good. Yeah. It's so good. I'm like, man, that's enough. When I'm walking by as a victim and I hear, you know, things like, you ever seen a dead body? <laughs> you ever seen a man die? It's like, uh, no, uh, no, I don't <laughs> want to, Johnny. <laughs> you're 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 scared and turned on at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I think everyone's got incredible VO. Yeah. You know, like, if obviously, you know, Jim C. is not here anymore. So to have such good VO on the cook, uh, I, you can tell it's not him, you know, but it it still it works. Yeah. I mean, Leatherface is wonderful. It's such good. Who does the grunts for a leather? <laughs> yeah, dude. Concerned it, noises. It's probably not Kane, but I wish it was Kane. It's probably Ross. Ross. Yeah, probably Ross did him. Probably. Because Ross uh, did the voice of Grandpa. Oh, we forgot to rank Grandpa Nugget. Uh, well, OK, Nugget. Number one. Number one. Grandpa is a close second. Yeah. Well, Max. Out Grandpa is a real hero. 
All Brrr. right. So Nugget is unrankable because he is God. Yeah. There's also so many of them. Yeah. Are they just, they're all Nugget? No. All, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, do you ever feel bad about stabbing Nugget in game because you have your own Nugget? I'm a level with you. I've stabbed one Nugget. I, really? That's it? I don't think it's worth the, the, loss of bone shard when, when we're yeah, that's true i feel you when we're streaming i literally keep the nugget that we got from the pre-release party on my microphone he sits there right next to me so if i stab a nugget in game i just feel a little bad he's glaring at you yeah. <laughs> he's a good luck charm i can't have him upset like that yeah uh, I, it is also safe to say you know this is a week after the game's release yeah things might change you know different uh metagame possibilities and perk combinations to explore yeah. This could change next week. Yeah, probably will. And it probably will. It'll change a week after that. It always I, these things never stop changing. Cook for me. might be number one next week. I, I no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, well, that's going to wrap up this video. Let us know your rankings in the comments below. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And, of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.